and succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, I'm going to be repotting a little succulent plant that isn't normally a plant you'd think as being a succulent. It's a little bit different. And this time it is actually a begonia. And this is my begonia dregi. And it is a cordex growing begonia. So it is classed as a succulent because it stores water in its cordex. Very, um, very sort of special sought after little begonia and it's one that does like to be treated more like a succulent than a typical type of begonia that you'd normally see and first of all this this begonia dregi was after was actually give, given to me by my wonderful friend Galena who lives here in Ireland in Kildare and Galena had grown this from seed herself about three years ago now and uh, since I've had this about a year and a half that the cordex has grown really lovely big and fat gorgeous um, cordex begonia and because the cordex stores water that is why this is a succulent begonia very different to the other types of houseplant begonias that you see that usually need to have very frequent watering now I'm going to talk a little bit about the care of this begonia before I um, show you me repotting it well, first of all, this begonia is one that is one that comes from South Africa. So it can take a bit of drought, which is why it has its cordex there. And it does like to be treated more like a succulent. During the spring and summer months, you can water it quite regularly, making sure that the soil dries out in between waterings before watering again. During the winter, they like to be kept a bit more on the dry side. But unlike a normal succulent that can go many, many months without water, I find in, in my experience anyway, when I notice the leaves starting to go a little bit hanging, that's when I'll give this a bit of water. So I would water this in the winter about once, once a month. And uh, whereas my other succulents, I wouldn't. Uh, other begonias like to be well watered, obviously, but this one is one that doesn't, in my opinion, like to go as long as a traditional succulent without water. But it does have a cordex, so it's one that you do need to be careful when it comes to watering. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the soil as well. Now, these type of begonias, this, this begonia, the cordex begonia, the begonia dregi, does like to be potted up in a succulent type of soil. And when I say type, it can either be a, succ a traditional succulent mix or any other type of well-draining cactus and succulent soil rather than a typical houseplant soil. Because it has a, a cordex here, it does need to be very careful with the watering. As I say, the store a lot of the water in this cordex. So it's not one you want to pot up in normal houseplant soil that's kept wet all the time. As I say, these plants like to dry out in between waterings and go that little bit longer without watering in the winter. It's a plant that prefers to have bright but indirect light that is away from strong sunshine a little bit of sun is not going to hurt it but if you have these plants in a very sunny window in a sunny position they don't like it although they're from south africa they prefer a little bit more shade so a bright indirect position is perfect in the summer you'll notice that these little leaves here will go spotty because with the, the extra longer days, they form these little spots on these gorgeous little leaves. And uh, the leaves tend to go more green like this during the winter months. It's also not unusual as well during the winter when you go longer in between waterings. As I say, I'd give this a, a wee bit of water once a month just to keep the leaves on. But it's normal for some of the leaves to drop off during the winter because this is when they're having their, their winter rest. So no need to worry there, it will grow new leaves again in the springtime and uh, fertilizing i would give mine a little bit of a bit of the succulent tomato feed well when i say succulent feed or a little bit of tomato feed i use a bit of tomorite tomato feed because that's good to use with succulents also encourages blooming these will have little pink little pink or peachy tiny little flowers during the, the spring and summer months and that, that's pretty much it with the care um, the temperature, these are not cold, hardy begonias. 
So when it comes to many of my succulents, they can be pretty hardy to about five Celsius. But with this particular begonia, it does need to be kept warm. So a minimum winter temperature of 10 C, which is about, about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So it makes an ideal house plant, not one to have in an unheated or even a cold uh, greenhouse over the winter. So do keep it indoors. So that's why I'm including this in this video. It's it, although it is a house plant, it's also a a semi I, th I think more of a semi succulent than a succulent but it still is a succulent in a way because it has its little cordex and I'm going to show you repotting this little beauty now now I've got the next size pot up and as I mentioned it's really important that you use a very well draining soil for my other types of houseplant begonias I would use a typical houseplant soil but with this begonia I've actually got a pretty much a succulent mix I've got a um, grit in there, I've got a bit of loam, I've got a little bit of perlite as well and I've also got a, a tiny little bit of fir bark as well because this sort of be ideal for this type of succulent begonia. So here we go then guys, you can see all the dust coming up from that. Let's get potting up this cutie wooty. So then I've got a little bit of the soil in the bottom. And as I mentioned, I'm using a succulent type of soil for this begonia. I haven't made it as gritty and I haven't used any sand. I would normally use more grit and more sand with succulents. But this, as I say, although it's classed as a succulent begonia, I, as I mentioned, I see it more as a semi-succulent because it, it doesn't have succulent leaves, but it does have a cordex. So I've mixed a little bit of uh, grit, perlite, a bit of John Innes loam number two and a tiny bit of fir bark as in this here because that would help to retain a little bit more moisture but make it make it very well draining as I say this has to dry out in between waterings and there we go squeeze the little pot be very careful with the cordex you don't want to just pull it out like that the first time I've repotted this oh my gosh look at the roots that is a Pretty needs a need of a repot, as you can see, all the roots are wrapped round, and I'm not going to disturb that. This is one plant I can just pot in and and put the soil around, and it will grow through. As you can see, lots of fine little roots there. Always good to check the root ball that there's no signs of pests such as mealybugs, root mealybugs, or anything like that. These little white bits here is perlite, by the way, guys. <laughs> it's not root mealybug nests, so that's pretty good there. And as I say, gently placing that in there. And I've chose a bit of a wider pot because of the cordex. And very carefully press, holding that there. I don't want to disturb. Just make sure that you can see what I'm doing. I'll just turn the, that round a bit so you, my hand isn't in the way when you're uh, watching me potting up here. that around just put this clean bit out that's better and then there you go very easy to repot this one anyway <laughs> gently tapping it in and then use the flat edge of this now although this isn't a cactus or a traditional type of succulent it is winter time and I'm only repotting this now because isn't, as you can see it's desperate for a bigger pot and it's in the house as well it's a house plant so no problem but I'm still going to let this rest for about a week before I start to water it again I don't think there'll be any problems to give it a wee bit of water but I prefer just to let it settle just for about a week and I like to do this with uh, succulents and cactus as I say it's a bit of a mix between a traditional type of house plant and a succulent but I would be keeping this mostly dry anyway at this time of year just giving it a wee bit of water about once a month so I'm gonna let that settle and then give it a, a water in a week's time so there we go one happy begonia dreggy all potted up and I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a video a little bit different for you as I say it's a uh, a succulent begonia so one that you don't see every day in the collection so I was super chuffed to have this uh, given to me by my wonderful friend Galena a year and a half ago and special that she'd grown it from seed as well 
and thank you so much for watching everyone do check out all of the other videos i've got on my youtube channel uh, for lots more growing tips on many many different types of cacti and succulents i want to wish you all a fantastic plant powered day thank you for repotting me